now you can understand what happens for a semiconductor. So for a semiconductor, the valence band and the conduction band are much closer to each other. Okay. So we can put the energy levels like this. This is your highest allowed energy level for a valence band. This is the lowest allowed energy level for a conduction band. You start with 1. And because the band gap is small, much smaller, you will have a significant fraction, uh, significant non-zero probability of finding electrons at the lowest allowed energy levels in the conduction band of a semiconductor. So this is your conduction band, this is your valence band. Okay. And this point is your Fermi level. All right. Now, for all of these continuous types of Fermi level values, okay, these Fermi level functions, you can actually write the exact functional form of these Fermi levels. Okay. So, the functional form, sorry, functional form of the field fraction. Functional form of filling fraction is written as f e t equals to 1 by e to the power x plus 1 where x is e minus e f by k b t where k b is 8.62 into 10 to the power minus 5 electron volts per Kelvin and E and EF are energy values in electron volts. So, the value of the field fraction is 1 by E to the power x plus 1 where x is the actual e e uh, value of the energy level minus the Fermi energy level in electron volts by kb into t where kb is 8.62 into 10 to the power minus 5 electron volts per kelvin okay kb is the boltzmann constant which is given in terms of electron volts instead of joules okay so this functional form can give you the probability of finding the value of your fermi level energy okay so now you can actually plot this E minus EF by KBT with respect to the field fraction. So, let us do that. So, here it is just E values, but we can write this expression. E minus EF by KBT. Okay. Now, before that, Suppose temperature is 0, so 0 kelvins, then x is tending to infinity, so this Fermi level becomes a step function. Okay. Why does this become a step function? So this, this becomes 0, so this becomes e to the power tending to infinity. If e is less than ef, then this becomes a negative infinity. And if E is greater than EF, then this becomes a positive infinity. All right. So, E to the power negative infinity means the field, this function becomes 0. So, the field fraction is 1. So, for any E less than EF, the field fraction becomes 1 at temperature equal to 0 kelvins. For E greater than EF, this X tends to positive infinity. So, this becomes 0. So, that means 1 by infinity is 0. So, this becomes field fraction is 0 at E greater than E. So, you can see you are getting back the functional form that we were discussing so far. So, let us just look at the values. So, first we will put
the zero case e is equals to ef okay on either side we will have minus 5 minus 10 plus 5 plus 10 basically e minus ef by kbt value is varying from minus 10 to plus 10 okay for this expression kbt equal to 0 all right next we will look at and here we will put this is the 0 0.5 value okay now suppose kbt is equals to 1 that is temperature is equals to 1 by kb okay so kb is this value so then your expression looks like so this is kbt equals to 1 all right now if you look at another case where kbt equal to 2 so temperature is increasing further So, in this case, this is kbt equals to 2. Okay. So, as you can see, basically what is happening, initially you have a step function. Then you have a function like this, steep slopes. Then you have a slightly gentler slope like this. So, these are the three cases, kbt equal to 0, kbt equals to 1 kbt equals to 2 okay so what you are getting is as the temperature is rising so your kbt values are increasing the slope here is becoming becoming less steep so your field fractions are falling faster at uh, at the lower energy levels and are increasing faster at the higher energy levels above here but at each point this 0 0.5 value all of them are intersecting here okay so the uh, formidable value itself is not changing okay it is remaining fixed at a certain point but the the slopes are changing okay so what this means if you think of an insulator case or a semiconductor case so this is your semiconductor the top of the valence band and the bottom of the conduction band so at a uh, lower temperature you will have something like this okay where ef is at this point so okay at a slightly higher temperature you will get something like this okay so this is t1 this is t2 and these are the field fraction values and t2 is greater than t1 ef is remaining same okay this is the 0.5 point but the slope of this line the fet line is changing as the temperature is rising so you are getting less number of electrons in the uh, valence band and more number of electrons in the conduction band For pure semiconductors and insulators, the EF level remains the same at all temperatures and is 
given by EF equals to E valence plus E gap by 2. Okay. So, this EF, so this is the top of your valence band. So, we call it E valence and this is EG by 2, half of the gap, band gap. Okay. So, if this is EG, this is EG by 2. I am not, uh, so this figure I am giving slightly in to be slightly higher here. But basically, the Fermi level will always be in the middle of your band gap for semiconductors and insulators. Whereas for conductors, it will be the top of the band gap. So for conductors, E gap equal to 0 and hence EF is equals to EV, the top of your valence energy band. Okay, so that's the formula for the three cases. Okay, and this we are talking about pure materials, that is materials which are not being doped with other types of materials. Okay. So uh, let us look at one worked out example today to show how the probability of finding an electron in the conduction band is changing for a semiconductor with different temperatures. So, example, for silicon, the band gap is 1.11 electron volts. Okay. Find what percentage of the conduction band is filled for silicon at a 300 kelvins and b 1000 kelvins. So, this is the formula. Now, since so the solution let E B the energy level at the bottom of the conduction band. Since Fermi level is halfway between the band gap we have E minus EF equals to EG by 2 equal to 0 0.555 electron volts. So here you, this is your conduction band, this is your Fermi level, this is your valence band. This is 1.11 and this is E g by 2 and this is your E value. So, E minus E f is equals to E g by 2 which is 0.555 electron volts. Okay. So, at T equal to 300 kelvins x 1 is equals to 0 0.555 by k b into 300 equals to 21.46. And at T equal to 1000 kelvins, X2 is 0 0.555 by KB into 1000 equal to 6.438. So now you can put this in the FET value and you get 1 by E to the power X plus 1 
this implies that if e at 300 you can just put these values here and it will get equal to 4.787 into 10 to the power minus 10 okay and if e at 1000 becomes 0 0.0016 okay so you can see that percentage of electrons in conduction band equal to 4.787 into 10 to the power minus 8 percent at 300 kelvins and equal to 0 0.16 percent since this is 0 0.0016 so we are taking two units back at 1000 kelvins so you can see how much difference the temperature makes in the amount of electrons that you are likely to find in the conduction band for silicons so this shows that for semiconductors the conductivity rises exponentially with temperature okay so uh, i will stop this section today here uh, in the next class we will discuss uh, what happens for doped semiconductor systems okay so thank you for listening and see you in the next class